What we saw today from the Prime Minister was uh, dismaying, confusing, complicated, and I think a lot of people in New Zealand will be feeling exactly the same way as uh, these people I've been talking to this morning feel. So today I speak on behalf of many New Zealanders who have contacted me about what they're feeling and what they're seeing, and they want me to speak out. And they're saying, enough. Enough of this confusion. Enough of playing mind games with people. Enough of, not, of the government not delivering on their promises. And enough of expecting other New Zealanders to have to carry that can for them. Aucklanders in particular are living in very severe restrictions, and they have now been for 10 weeks. There is no hope for them out of this announcement. They're being held in this prison until every district health board in Auckland uh, gets their numbers of vaccinations up to 90%. And Auckland represents around 40% of the population. So you're talking a large number of people. And even then, the traffic-like system which is extraordinarily confusing, doesn't weigh in until, really, until there's a vaccination certificate from the government. Now, I asked Jacinda Ardern about the vaccination certification that would be available, and I asked about that in February this year. And she said then that they were working on proof of vaccination, a certificate that could be used. We are now being told that it may be mid-December, so Auckland doesn't even get a chance for Aucklanders to be able to get back to any normality and release from prison until mid-December. As to the promises that have been made, they've changed. At one stage we were told it would be in October we'd get a vaccine certificate, then we're told November, now the end of De November and now December. It just keeps getting worse. Other countries have been able to do this since uh, the UK in May, the EU in June. There is no reason at all that New Zealand should be last in the queue again. We were told by the Prime Minister in April that we were taking our rightful place in the queue for vaccines. And she laughed on uh, Q&A when she was with Jack Tame about how we were taking our place, the rightful place. We were letting other countries go first. Well, why in the world are we waiting now for a vaccine certificate that other countries have had in place for months? And the reason is because the government actually stopped bothering to really sprint for vaccinations and instead it's only in the last little while that they decided to get very, very focused on it. So what we've heard today from the Prime Minister is that we're in a sprint. Well, where was that sprint earlier this year when New Zealanders were wanting to get vaccinated and couldn't because we didn't have the vaccine supply? This is an absolute indictment on the Prime Minister and the government and I speak for many people in New Zealand who have had enough. This, even the rest of New Zealand outside of Auckland, is going to be held up when any DHB doesn't get 90% of people vaccinated, double vaccinated. So the people in the South Island are going to have to wait for some of the less well-performing DHBs in the North Island. It makes no sense. And what it is today is just absolute confusion. I am so shocked that the Prime Minister could have put this out and I'm absolutely heartbroken for those people who are watching their businesses go. Look, I've given up on listening to or uh, believing what the Prime Minister says on these things. Look at the vaccine certificate. In February they were working on it, in October it would be ready, in November it would be ready, December apparently be ready. This means that there's no opportunity now for Aucklanders, for instance, to have any certainty that they can go and visit their families in Christchurch for Christmas. They have no certainty. It's not just travel, is it? It's people's livelihoods. It's people's jobs. Um, it's the, if you take the 85,000 medical procedures, appointments and assessments that were cancelled in the first six weeks of this lockdown, by that stage, you know, you double that easily, double that and more. These are the cancers that are not being uh, detected. These are the scans that aren't being done. These are people's lives that are now being put on hold while we wait around for some people to get vaccinated. I'm, I'm staggered 
at the incompetency and the uncaring attitude that the government has. That's why I'm reiterating my call to the Prime Minister. Go and go to Auckland. Go and listen to people. Listen to the heartbreak 